The definition is that the distance to the focus, P s, is the same as the distance to the directrix. Um, I guess it's D for directrix, like so. Okay. Now P to s, that's just two points. This is really easy to do. You've got the square root over here on the left hand side. What's underneath the square root? x minus 0 squared, very good, plus y minus a squared. So far so good. When you have a look at the right hand side, this is interesting, you've got a point and then you've got a line. You've got a point, you've got a line. So what would we normally do? You'd normally do perpendicular distance formula and that's fine. However, I'm going to teach you a sneaky little trick here to help you work out the perpendicular distance, which is very nice and convenient when you've got things that are all horizontal, vertical, at right angles. Watch carefully. Don't have your pen in your hand here. I just want you to watch this. The perpendicular distance from P to the directrix, can you see it? Can you visualize if you had to draw it on the board where that line is? Clearly, it's going to be, well, that's a bit wavy. That's a bit better. It's going to be this vertical line. Are you okay with that? Is it close enough for you? Okay. This will be that perpendicular distance. This is PD. Okay. Now, because it's vertical, I can use the perpendicular distance formula and I will get an answer. But vertical distance are, distances are much easier to calculate. You don't need to appeal to some big clunky formula because you know exactly what the coordinates of that point are going to be. It's a vertical line. It's a vertical line. So the x-coordinate down here has to be the same as the x-coordinate up there. So it's just x. Right? What about the y-coordinate? It's going to be? Yeah, ne negative a. Every y-coordinate down here is negative a. So no matter where I measured pd, if it was here or here or here or here, or here it'd always get a y-coordinate of minus a. Okay. Now have a look. Minus a means whoops, that you've gone down a unit, just like we saw here. But if the y coordinate up here is just y, then that means that this vertical distance must be y. That, that's what the y coordinate means. So what is pd in total? It's y plus a. Does that make sense? y plus a. Cool. It's worth pointing out, if you went ahead and turned the directrix into general form, um, it would be 0x plus 1y plus a equals 0. And if you farmed that into the perpendicular distance formula, um, lo and behold, eventually you would just get this. But that was a nice direct way to think geometrically about what was going on. Um, and I think we'd all agree, much simpler than appealing to a big messy formula. Okay, what do I do with this? I should square both sides to get rid of that square root. While I'm at it, I'll simplify. I might as well expand these guys. So y minus a all squared, that'll be y squared minus 2ay plus a squared. Good. Right hand side, when you square that, you're going to get y squared plus 2ay plus a squared again. And as we've observed so many times in um, the last few topics, things all magically come out in the wash. You've got a y squared on both sides, and then you also have an a squared on both sides. Okay. So now we can see that if I gather what's left behind, try and get it into a nice neat form, I get an x squared on the left hand side, and I get how many y's on the right hand side? 4a of them. Put a big box around that because this is the locus form of a parabola. You've seen um, general form, you've seen factorized form which gives you the roots, you've seen vertex form which gives you, well where's the vertex? And this is locus form because what it's got built into it, this A, is that geometric definition from where this came from, right? So Normally we don't care about A because we just want to know where the roots are, where do we draw this thing. But under this scheme we do care about A, it's the thing that makes it this parabola what it is. Okay? What would happen if I made A smaller or bigger? Hmm. 
for instance. You don't have to write this. But if you considered, say, x squared equals 4y, x squared equals 4y, what would a be in this case? It's 1, because it's 4 times 1 times y. So therefore, you would know that the focus is going to be at 0, comma, 1. And the directrix would be y equals negative 1. If, on the other hand, I gave you this, then you would conclude by looking at that that a is equal to 4. So you would say the focus is here, the vertex, sorry, the directrix is down here, according to your new focal length. Does that make sense? OK, question. If we wanted the standard stock standard parabola y equals x squared, then to get just a y, a would have to be a quarter. So its focus would be 0, a quarter, and its directrix would be y equals negative a quarter. Is that OK?